10 p.m. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and it's totally free. Uh, we still have room and space for organizations if you uh, want to participate. My information is on the flyer. Just send me an email and I will get you. Uh, but uh, please join us. This is a great event. We're expecting more than uh, 2,000 people. When last year we did it at Holy Bay Park and we changed it to uh, White Memorial because we're, we're going to be offering more services. This is this is uh, information. This, this is information and resources that we really need. Uh, that the community really needs. Thank you. Oh, and one more question. Can I read the flyer? Do you have an extra one? Yeah, I can have into the park, they want to visit the street. 
moving from Soto uh, to playground through the park. All two town have benefited this uh, identity of making this commercial development complex that has the one over there at the juvenile. This is okay. It's a development project. That's another topic for another day. My, my issue is that the park has been seriously mistreated on purpose by a public official. So what I'm hoping is that we put our public officials in the account and hold them to account to number one, control the web map, and number two, leave the park alone, and number three, prevent USC from taking any further uh, garbage from the park. That's basically it. Thank you.
we require that neighborhood council submit reconciliations every quarter of the year. So unfortunately, the reconciliations that were submitted by this board or representatives of this board um, were submitted incomplete, meaning that they did not have the proper documentation that, go, that goes with the reconciliation, and they were submitted without board approval. So that's a big no no, right? Because you're submitting documentation on behalf of your board without your board having seen it first. Can I ask who did? I wouldn't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't receive the documentation. I'd like to follow up on that. Um, so basically, what happened is we had some deadlines, important deadlines, training deadlines. And when I started looking into what the status of our financial stability was, I went back to the beginning of the fiscal year and started documenting what had been paid and what had not. Um, including some $500 that were voted on by the former board, which is why it's taken so long. So having gone back, um, I informed them that there was some outstanding demand work that had been paid from the district. Um, so that's how they became aware of those. And um, when I asked to see the submission, they informed me that they had received the key card reconciliations, but I informed that I had never seen them. Actually, I don't think it's been agendized at all on our agenda. So uh, it was submitted by a board member. And so at this point, I'm. this is all information that I just received this week also. So um, we had thought, the board had thought that we had submitted all the demand work the last fiscal year. But apparently there's about $3,000 outstanding as we submitted. Um, and, and just so you all know, your current balance as of now is $36,925. Now, with all due respect, I'm not quite complete on my question. Sure. Can you explain what the buzzword reconciliation means? I don't think they know what that word means. You explain everything around it perfectly, but the word is help. And the other thing, I'm sure they don't know what a P card is. Uh, so so I, I, I express what a P card is. A P card is like a credit card. I, I did. A reconciliation is you're reconciling your account. Okay, you're reconciling your books. That, that's, that's what it is. And a P card. The P card is a credit card and or debit card. So, yes. uh, and I'm sorry, just the last thing. So back, uh, the bank statement, which reflects every single transaction of the P card,
Well, these things that they're talking about that have not been paid, that's a email that we all got, of all the things from the Treasury, all the things that haven't been uh, paid because things, paperwork was missing and the stuff uh, was incomplete. Okay. I got that in my oh, email. Oh, did he? Okay, then that might be it. I have about 15 I, different I, items. It's quite a lot. Yes, that, he's, a, he's the auditor. Yes. yes. Okay, so you guys did get the email. Yes, we all got Because I only saw, I think I only saw Mr. Montano. He was, it was addressed to him and we all got it. So that Fantastic. money for those is going to have to be paid out of the 13 14 budget, That's correct? Right. If they haven't gotten paid, yes. Okay, so that means that the money allocated for those items that were from the 12 13 budget, that money, if it hasn't been paid yet, that money is going back to the city treasurer. It already that's, did. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's being swept. Something that we worked real hard to see that every penny of the 47000 went to the community and none of it went back to the treasury of the city of Los Angeles. And I think that's a big moment. That's a, the worst thing you can commit in terms of the treasury section of any neighborhood council, but in, in particular this neighborhood council. I think that's just, just too bad. You see all these people that have projects that need money, their money went back to the city because we have non-compliance treasurer here. I do have a list of all the stuff that was not paid. Right. If anybody would like copies, I do have a copy of That's that. It's a shame. And, um, they didn't get their money. Uh, the, the NPGs, I'm happy to say, did get paid. Uh, as you heard from Gabriela, he helped to pay no, and all of the NPGs were submitted. Um, I personally had delivered them to them. So those were all submitted and have paid, been paid. So, so I, I do want to stress, again, I will be contacting Mr. Montano and, and your president. Um, to follow up to see if we can reconcile, you know, compare lists and compare to what we have, to see what he could maybe some stuff will write his book in, which is wonderful. But if not, again, if the services were rendered, you have no choice. The money is being taken out of this year's fiscal funds. If the services have not been rendered, you have to take a vote. Shame on us. Yeah, listen, I do have, I know one of the main ones already, right now is our website
trying to get a well-known actor like Michael Caine to come down there. He's in Prague, uh, working in Prague, working at all. Um, he played Sal Castro in the film The Walkout, the HBO film The Walkout. And I met Michael at the Brookside Golf Course one day and said hello, wished him well, and said congratulations. He had won an award for that. I think he, he would be probably a better person to talk about Sal Castro for a minute. Um, I think that my own reflection being a Chicano Studies, Latin American Studies major from UC Santa Barbara, uh, watching that film, studying and learning what I know about Sal Castro in the area, is, 